Get more developers consuming APIs with less handholding and support by trying requests from the browser. So let's go ahead and try a request. Uh, by default, uh, the uh, try it feature is enabled and you can disable it across the board or for specific operations. So we have support for multiple security schemes. Um, this is just what's defined in the API's uh, security definition. So in, in this case, I'm going to, this is using a mock server. So I'm putting in a fake bearer token. I can adjust this body. Um, we can put in an ingredient. Uh, so change that to apples. Uh, we can see it, it gives us some indication if we've made a mistake. So here, incorrect type, it expected a number, unexpected end of string. Even if I end the string, it will tell me that it expected a number, not a string. So let's go ahead. And that works across the board depending on how you defined or configured your uh, uh, your schema. So here in this case, this property is defined as having a format date time, and this is recognized it's not. So we can see that if we scroll up here, this used before uh, date time. Uh, you may be wondering, you're used to seeing it in a side-by-side -side panel. Uh, uh, I made my screen resolution small uh, to make uh, it easy to view the video. So that's why I'm looking at the stacked uh, layout here. So have support for multiple uh, servers and can go ahead and send this request. It actually does send the request over the wire uh, and it we do have a cores proxy uh, where the request can be sent uh, to and proxied to the server if your server doesn't support cores. Uh, in addition to that, um, we have support for all kinds of advanced functionality, like if you wanted to intercept the request and add headers or do other things like that. It, it's, it's all possible. So, which some people do for security reasons. Now, moving on, let's uh, take a look at um, another API. So this is a uh, real API. And I'm going to click on the try it here. Uh, this API has a few examples defined. So if you have defined media type examples, like uh, exist here, uh, the person can change these examples and it pre-fills this. One of the other things I wanted to show here is uh, this particular uh, property is defined as an enum. So if I start to type something, it will allow me to uh, pre-select it. Uh, same, we'll see the same thing over here. So, uh, and if I if I were to put something else in there, something that 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 didn't make sense, we can also see the the error, and it will explain. So, in this case, um, this is problematic because this is using the uh, discriminator. So it's expecting when the type is fixed fee. It it has different properties here. Uh, versus when it's uh, percentage. So this one is expecting it to be percentage. Um, again, I did already show we have support for multiple servers and um, this is server variables. So this particular um, server, you'll see the variable is in there. Um, I can send the request. I don't have uh, a permission uh, to create this fee, but if I did, it would um, let me know. And this explains what's uh, that I, I don't have permission to do that. So uh, that's an overview of the uh, try it functionality. Uh, it's it's really uh, useful uh, and helps uh, developers consume APIs with less handholding and support by letting them try their first requests from the browser.